Hello everyone, this is Julie here, and I just wanted to spend a little bit of time with you to give you a few tips around thriving during this time of quarantine, this unprecedented time that we are all experiencing around the globe. You know, such an unusual event, right? That everyone is dealing with the same sort of thing right now. And that is the COVID-19 virus. And so how do we stay healthy and strong and vibrant in our mind, body, and spirit during this time. The first tips I'm going to give you are around the mind, because first of all, we can easily flip into fear or anxiety. Fear and anxiety is really about the future, and we don't really know what the future is going to hold. So I'm going to suggest that our key focus with the mind is to stay in the present moment. This is the opportunity we have right now to master the monkey mind and stay in the present moment. This is a moment of awakening and many of you are feeling that. So one of the tips around staying in the present moment is meditation. Different people have different ways of meditating. Some it's through stillness, some it's through walking, some it's through doing yoga or something. So you need to find your way of stilling the mind and just being present in stillness and silence and solitude. And we're certainly getting a lot of those things right now. What an opportunity. So meditation on a daily basis, especially if you create a little ritual around it so that it's the same time every day, maybe first thing in the morning um, or in the evening, light a candle, um, something that will give you a sense of ritual. You know, children love ritual and so do we. So I'm going to suggest a little meditation, 10 minutes, it's fine, 20 minutes, half an hour. If you'd want to do more, that's super too. Dreams. This is a time for dreaming. Since we're not so externalized, we're not going out there, we're not busy with others so much out there except for online. This is an extraordinary time to ask for dreams. I've been a, a big dream, what could I say, not connoisseur, but um, a passionate lover of dreams all my life. And I've been noticing that I've been having very, very profound dreams during this time. So pay attention to your dreams, ask for dreams. Put a little pen and paper or pencil and paper next to where you sleep or under your pillow and really ask because dreams love to be asked and they will come if you ask and you will learn to remember them. It's a practice and the key thing about dreams is when you wake up in the morning and you know you've had a dream, don't move. Don't move your physical body, stay in exactly the same position that you're waking up in and recapture the dream if you can right then. It's rather like fishing. You're fishing for the dream. And the more still you stay physically, the better and easier it is for the dream to come through the neurological pathways. And then write it down right away, just as you remember it. And in the present tense is best. I'm on a boat, I'm on the river, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Now journaling is also a big part, whether it's your dreams and that, or other things you want to just journal about right now to again, bring the mind to the present moment and just journal on what is happening for you right now. I'm a great believer in the morning pages, um, which is something Julia Cameron brought through with her creativity work. and. Uh, it's a very powerful way to work with the mind. She calls it a brain drain. And you can just three pages and just don't stop and don't question and just write. And at the end, you'll feel very different. So it's a few things for the mind. For the body, how do we stay thriving during this time of potential threat? Well, there's a lot that I could go into with diet. And, but diet is very important right now to keep your diet really strong and vibrant, to keep your immune system empowered. So one of the key things is to keep your diet alkaline as much as you can. Now, I'm a great believer in a whole foods, plant-based diet. I have um, 
eaten that way since I was 23 years old. It has worked very, very well for me. And it doesn't mean I never eat animal food, but primarily it's whole foods and plant-based. And that is naturally an alkaline diet. Um, you might want to pick up some key things at the grocery shop, uh, maybe some miso soup, some um, tamari, some uh, natural organic, of course, everything organic. Eat everything organic. Um, pick up some, um, I mean, I just noticed there was some sea vegetables. Very, very good for mineralization and keeping, keeping that alkalinity also. Fresh veggies, lots and lots and lots of fresh vegetables. And try and stay away from the nightshades more, you know, the tomatoes, the eggplant, those things. And keep it more alkaline because those things create a very acidic effect and they're not so great for us. Um, fresh fruits and keep it, uh, fruits that you would have in your normal ecological environment, wherever you are. Not so much the tropical fruits that you would never see in your own uh, country, but natural fruits um, from your own place. Um, building immunity is a really important thing. Uh, along with that, you know, water, good alkaline mineralized water is key. Keep yourself really hydrated. And then there's lots of things you can learn about, like upping a little bit of zinc in your diet. I'm taking some immunity mushrooms. Um, mushrooms are fantastic for immunity. Um, garlic is wonderful too, and onions. Uh, ginger is great. Turmeric is wonderful. There's lots of things out there that can also support, but you wanna have the basic things be really vibrant and healthy, colorful and rich and, and you know, yes, some cooked vegetables, but also some raw vegetables as well. Nice balance of salads and, and cooked veggies. Soups are really good. Keeping things warm in the body, not too much cold things. And staying away more from dairy. Uh, sugar definitely creates an acidic environment that's not so great right now. Uh, alcohol, of course, um, ke keeps us very acidic. So just staying away from those things as much as, as you can right now would be, really would behoove you. Uh, miso soup is an absolute go-to. Fantastic for fortifying the immune system, the whole, the whole body. Um, exercise. Well, that's natural to think of, of course. And I think right now with all this turbulence, you know, walking outside in nature, making sure there's six feet of distance between you and others, but if you can, getting into the countryside um, is really good. Uh, yoga is very calming to the mind, body, and spirit. Um, tai Chi is excellent. Qi Kung is wonderful. Um, these are different practices that build up the energy system. So as much as you, you know, certainly, you know, pump iron and, and run and those things are also fantastic. Yet right now, using uh, tools like yoga to keep the mind centered and calm, working with breath, really being connected to the breath. This is very good along with the body's movement. This will help us to stay calm and centered. And then building our energy system, I use other technologies. I do use a Niken wellness home technology tools that, that, that Niken has. I'm a huge believer in that. That includes grounding mats, magnetic fields of the earth to keep us well grounded. Um, it includes a far infrared of the sunlight, negative ion technology that is so uplifting for our moods. So I, I use the technologies with the water system, the waterfall, the air system that helps get rid of all those nasty things we don't want in the air and produces negative ions for our well-being and a magnetic sleep system so i sleep really deeply you know sleep is critical for our immune system it is absolutely critical and if you can seven to nine hours is perfect somewhere in that range um, less sleep compromises your immune system dramatically so you know seven to nine hours especially at around eight to nine is just perfect perfect and i sleep in a cocoon of magnetism for infrared technology and negative ion technology I am a huge believer in the Niken Wellness Home. I have used it for 25, 26 now, 26 years, and have really thrived during those years. I feel very blessed with the 
great health that I have. And I know that a lot of it is due to using those technologies, those simple tools day in, day out. Magnetic fields are powerful to keep us healthy and strong and our energy system robust and our chakra system flowing. And that is what we want. And especially right now. Spirit. What do we do for spirit? Well, spirit imbues everything, of course. But I think right now is a perfect time to, um, to work deeply in the heart, to forgive, to forgive anyone and anything that's happened, to let things go, betrayals. Um, you know, the ego does love to be offended. And uh, the spirit doesn't need to have that offense going on that's an ego thing so forgiveness is really fortifying for us to just let go so working on forgiveness working on gratitude i don't say working but being in gratitude as much as we can for the people in our lives for life itself for our homes for the quiet for the sun that rises and sets for the moon the stars things we never question our planet herself that is thriving right now as we settle down a little, the planet is, is coming back to life. I have a huge connection to the green man. I'm coming from a Celtic background and I can tell you the green man is very happy right now as the earth restores herself so beautifully and so quickly at this time. So gratitude for all of life and for your own life and for every breath. Creativity, have you noticed how many people are being so creative right now? It's beautiful and it's showing up online in all kinds of ways. I love that, art, music, poetry, it's just gorgeous. So creativity is of course wonderful for the mind, it includes the body, but it's a very spiritual thing and it really, really fortifies our soul, our spirit. So this is a great time to reconnect with some creativity you used to do or something brand new that you've never done. All kinds of things can come out. Cooking, great. Needlepoint, knitting. There's all sorts of things. I play piano. I write poetry. Um, yesterday I went out walking and I took lots of photographs and put them, made them into a little video on Facebook that I put uh, early this morning. It just made me happy to do it. So find the things that make you joyous and do those. And then fundamentally and last but not least, reconnection. This is an amazing time for reconnection. You know, we are all connected. Everything is energy. Everything is spirit. Everything is God. And it's time to reconnect to that and to each other, to those you love, to your neighbors, to nature herself to yourself, to your own heart, right? To thine own self be true. This is a beautiful time to come back into truth with who you really are, what you really love, and what you want to do with this life. How do you want to serve? Get connected into your purpose and mission like never before and bring it forth. So these are my few tips for today. I hope you're doing well. I send you much love and many blessings during this very, very powerful time of awakening. So bye for now, and uh, we'll talk soon. And I need to find out where am I, uh, where I'm stopping the recording is. Oh yeah, it's right up there. See, I don't do this every single day. So much love, be well and be creative and be connected. Bye.